Hello, the purpose, the focus of this video is division. And um, I want to start by just sort of bringing division back to, to its roots. What exactly are we doing when we're, we're dividing? What are we trying to find out? So I want to start with a simple expression of 6 divided by 2. Now we all know that 6 divided by 2 is 3. But the question, the way we want to restructure our questions to understand division, especially when we're dividing fractions, is we're actually trying to find out how many 2's are in 6. So if we restructure that, how many 2's are in 6, we know that the answer is still the same. There are 3 2's, because 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now if we look at this on a number line, Here's 6, and we're trying to find out how many 2's are in there. We can actually graph those out on a number line. Okay, so here's 6, and we have 1, 2. There's 1. Here's another 1. And then here is our third, right? So we have 1, 2, 3, 2's. Okay, now... This is, a, this is the, the integer version, which is a, um, a simple one, but let's now look at fractions, okay? So let's say we're dividing four divided by one half. Now, typically when I ask middle schoolers this, a lot of times I'll get, oh, it's, the answer is two, because half of four is two, but not really considering what exactly we're looking for when we're dividing. We're looking for how many of those are in that. So if you look at it that way, it becomes a little bit more logical. How many halves are in four? And the answer is there's eight of them. So again, we can look at it on a number line. Here's zero, here's four. Okay, so when we look at the four, and we're trying to indicate how many halves are in there. These are the whole numbers, so we would need to indicate where our halves are. Now, when we're showing the fractions, what I like to do is I like to sort of box them, put rectangles around them to show here's an entire half. Okay, so here is a half, here's another half, here's three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, so the answer, 4 divided by 1 half, or how many halves are in 4, the answer is 8. Now, when both numbers are fractions, then it's a little bit more, a better way of understanding it. Let's, let's look at the term 3 fourths divided by 1 half. Okay, now the question still remains, how many halves are in 3 fourths? Okay, so we can look at this on a number line also. And this will make it a little bit more understandable. So here is 0 to 1. Now we have halves, but we also need to indicate in our number line where the fourths are because we need to indicate what 3 fourths is. So here's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, which is a half, and then 3 fourths. So now we're trying to count off how many halves there are. Now, if we count that off first, let's indicate 3 fourths. That's what we're looking for. That's our entire value. And we're trying to figure out how many halves are there. Now, from 0 to 2 fourths, that's one entire half. So that means there's one of them. We do not have another half. We don't have a whole half in that 3 fourths. But we do have part of it, though. So if we count off from this, we count off another half, it will go beyond, it goes beyond the 3 fourths. But we only want to know how many halves are in 3 fourths. So here is a whole half right here. This is a whole half, right? Now this is another half, but we only have half of that half in 3 fourths. So this would be indicated by a half. Now, the answer to the question of how many halves are in 3 fourths, the answer is there's one and a half.
Thanks for watching.